What's good, family? Uh, first of all, ignore my sweat. It's a bit hot out here. I'm in Stockton, California. It's hot everywhere in California these days. Uh, anyways, I'm painting the garage mural today. A bit of an impromptu project. My old schoolmate and friend of mine from college has a home garage gym that he has an empty wall in and wanted a mural. I had a few empty days in my schedule, so I pulled up and here I am ready to paint. It's gonna be 49ers and Sacramento Kings themed. So I'm really excited because I love painting athletes. I love painting bright colors, which both those teams have. Let's get after it. For the day I'm ever fully booked on uh, mural paintings and my schedule's packed and you want me to paint you a mural, this is what you need to do. Yeah, fresh home cooking. Delicious, man. Oh my goodness. I'm still working on the background here, but I just applied some what I meant to be gold for the 49ers, but it looks a bit yellow. And the last thing I want to do is make this mural give off Chiefs vibes. So let's change it. It's taken me like three different tries to try and get 49er colors. I think it's right. All right, y'all, the background's done here in the gym. Might just do some pull-ups feeling like a real gym atmosphere now that we got some, you know, electric colors going on. Fast forward like one hour, I finished painting the Brock Purdy. It took like three layers to get that black to be actual black. Super frustrating, but I saved you guys some time and not showing it. You're welcome. There's two characters in this mural and two characters shouldn't take too long. And especially because this is a bit of an impromptu mural where I just came over because I had time in my schedule and my friend wanted me to come over versus like a full blown mural project. I'm not worrying too much about placing too much detail in each character, but instead putting the, the illusion of detail and the impression of detail without actually you know, taking hours and hours and hours on every little thing. And the way to do that, and my favorite way, is to use silhouettes. This Brock Purdy character is gonna be like 90% black, but it's still gonna be like, oh yeah, that's Brock Purdy. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's Brock Purdy. Mine is 10 hours of work, so. Good morning. It is early, day two. And here's what we've done. Yesterday we got here, sketched it out, taped everything off, painted the background, and painted Brock Purdy. Today, we're painting Deer and Fox, the much bigger of the two characters. The reason Deer is so much bigger than Purdy is because my friend who chose the images picked these two images specifically that he really liked, and so we went with it, but the images are of photos taken at different zooms. So the zoom of Deer only goes down like from above his head to about his butt while Purdy goes from above his head all the way to his calves. So if I would make them the same size, it would make no sense. I accidentally made Deeran even bigger than he was supposed to be, but you know, ain't no change in it now. So hopefully it's not a big deal. And let's get after day two, final day. It can be a major hassle to switch brushes all the time and then have to wash additional ones. So, uh, well, let's walk that back. It can feel like a major hassle sometimes to have to use more brushes than we need. But for that reason, I end up catching myself regularly using the wrong brush. Using the correct sized brush for the correct region you're painting is of utmost importance because you won't even realize it, but then the time I could have spent just switching a brush then saves me 10 times the amount of time I'm going to spend painting a very large region with a very small brush. Let me show you the difference.
do me a favor and ignore the huge skip in time. I felt uh, just a bit unmotivated and I wanted to get wanted to get out of here, so I just started grinding and completely forgot to film. So I am nearly done with deer and fox. Just have to do the number, fix the letters a little bit, fix the logo a little bit, and then we're done. I, I like this mural. It's cool, it's chill, but uh, I've just been very tired the past few days, so I'm ready to go home, ready to finish. And so let's do just that, let's get it done.